Hey, what's going on? So in today's video, we're going to be installing a front passenger window in my Mitsubishi Outlander. I was mowing the yard before we went on vacation, kicked up a rock, and actually shattered this window. I ordered this one off of Amazon. Today we're going to be installing it. Uh, it was a pretty good price too, so I'm going to have a link down in the description of this video for this particular window. Uh, that way you can order the same one, uh, and I'm going to show you how the install goes. Okay, so to get access to the door, there's actually several areas you need to go at. Uh, first one being you remove this little plastic tray if you still have it. And inside of there is this little clip that comes out and there'll be a Phillips screw uh, under there uh, that you have to undo. This actually just popped out for me. I think some people, uh, you have to use like a, one of those plastic pry tools. Uh, but yeah, it came right out. Okay, so then for this next one, uh, you just kind of have to get in here with something like a screwdriver or something and just pop this corner out. It'll pop right off. And then you have access to that other Phillips head screw that's back in there. For this next one, I think you just need to get up under this top part here and kind of pry. Um, there we go. So it's it's held in place with this this little piece here that just pops out. Okay, so uh, now we just have to take this the door panel off and usually uh, for the most part, they're just um, clips that sort of pop off as you go around. I'm gonna try to do it with my fingers at first, just to see if I can if I can do it. Anyway, wish me luck. Here we go. I don't think I can get. Can I get under it? You may be hearing some glass in there because there is pieces of glass from the window shattering. Uh, this is always fun. Always a fun time. Okay. There we go. All right. So for this next trick, hopefully you can see this. Can I go down a little bit? There we go. Let's see if we can, can we zoom in? That's all the way we can zoom in. So we just have to unhook these cables right here. Uh, they basically just pop up out of here and then they'll come out. So yeah, they just kind of, the little color piece and then it should should come up out. You might have to use a little door, door handle thing to help you get it out of there. And they'll they'll come apart like that. Okay, and then we got some wiring down here. So basically to undo these wires, you just do it right here. You just squeeze this little clip. And those should just pop out. There's just a little push button right there. So easy. Okay, so in order to get access to the window regulator, which is behind this, this like plastic and rubber covering, uh, we're gonna have to pull this. It's like a sticky goo. Uh, and, and remove that whole piece because the window regulator is behind there and, and you're not going to be able to really hook up. One thing I did not really think of is possibly rolling the window down slightly. So I uh, may have to manually do that. We'll just have to see how it goes because right now we're unhooked. So um, we will have to unhook this here, which is this little push button on the bottom. It should come right out like so. I'm also going to unhook the main speaker in the door, which is right here. It's just on the right side. Just kind of, well, if you pull this out first like that, and then you should be able to squeeze it and pull it up out of there. A little bit tricky with the camera, but yeah, there we go. And that should feed back through uh, this rubber and paper or plastic part, as well as with the uh, the cabling should feed back. All this should feed back through, and then I'm gonna basically take off this sticky stuff and lay it somewhere where the sticky stuff can stay sticky. Here we go.
All right, the sticky stuff's off. Oh, so okay. it's really not that sticky. Um, I do think we're gonna have to unbolt this center part here. I didn't realize that. Get a screwdriver. Tell you what, I really miss Hawaii. Uh, I would rather be in Hawaii right now. Whoops, there goes the screw. Alrighty then, and now we should be able to pull this little thing through. And uh, just be careful not to get it on your wiring here and get that goo in there, but yeah, there it is. I'm gonna go lay this flat somewhere so the sticky stuff can be face up. Anyhow, I think I think we need to take this off. I'm really not sure. Somehow we're going to have to get the window regulator down so that we can hook the new window to it because it's up too high. Uh, be awkward. Uh, plus, I need to vacuum this out. Uh, there's a lot of broken glass inside here. And uh, this will hopefully give us access to do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if I could get the window regulator all the way down, I'm wondering if it's right here is where we can... We can bolt to it. Uh, I would recommend, if you're doing this same thing, I would do this. I would roll the window down before you start. Just because you could mess up the computer or something. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and risk it myself. And uh, I'm going to roll it I'm gonna roll it down, even with the door unhooked and everything. Hopefully I don't blow anything up. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, so it ain't having it. It wouldn't roll that down. Um, probably have to hook the door back up to do it. Okay, so fortunately for me, I was able to just unhook this part here, which is part of the system that rolls the window and locks the door. Where did the door lock it? Oh, there it is. All right, let's see if she'll do it now. There we go. Look at that. How low can you go? All right, so it's right here. Looks like we'll be able to get a bite into it there. This piece moves back and forth. Uh, that's actually, you don't have to worry about setting that location of that or anything because uh, it just bolts on, you know? So um, that's so when the regulator is taking the window up and down, it stays in the tracks because it's not exactly like a straight up type of thing. Woohoo! All right, we're getting somewhere. So as you might expect, these are 10 millimeters. You can see I got broken glass on mine, so I'm gonna take these off first, uh, just to get rid of the glass. Save that 10 millimeter bolt. The other one's over on this side. Wiring's kind of in the way. Ugh. Oh boy. I didn't want to touch that because of the glass. You know? Just be careful. Put it here. I dropped my bolt, but that's okay. See if I can find him down in here. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and vacuum out all the glass. Okay, so that should be about all the glass. You know, it's important to get that glass out of there. Every time you shut this door, you're gonna hear that crunching sound. I'm hoping that I got it all, otherwise I'm gonna be doing this again. Okay, so for this next part, I would recommend getting help from us from someone else just because you're dealing with the glass. Uh, make sure you wear your safety glasses. We're gonna put the window down in the top. I'm gonna move a little tweeter speaker out of the way. It should just hang there. And I'm gonna try to bolt this on. Uh, again, these are 10 millimeter. So uh, let's get to it. Oh 
my. It's like we're into some kind of glass break. Is it? Is the glass still in there? Oh my. There's still broken glass in there that I don't know how to deal with. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Finding broken glass in the grooves. Yeah, down in there is broken glass. It needs out of the track. Just something I didn't think to check for. We're gonna have to clean more of the glass out of the bottom. There, there's just glass everywhere. It's a pain. I'm telling you, if people charge a lot to do this, I understand why. Yeah, so make sure you got the glass out of the track all the way around. You can't have glass in your track if you had a busted window like we did. And we're going to try to feed this down through. I think last time we were further down in. Yeah, like that. Just kind of get the corner in here started. Oh, it's hit my finger. Oh my gosh, it's right. It's on. The, it's in the track. All right, so you can't hear any grass, glass noise this time. Just keep bringing it down until you get to the regulator. Okay, can you um, keep coming, keep coming? Okay, wait, wait, hold it right there. Can you hold it right there? Yep. Okay. All right, so while she's got that, I'm gonna go ahead and put a 10 millimeter in there. Should be in my pocket still. So the only other thing that's kind of annoying is the, the other 10 millimeters back in. So I don't know if that's what this might be for. It's actually, it's right here in this little area. And I've lost my sunglasses, so. All right, so you should be able to take your fingers off it now. Let's try to take it down. And all the way back up. All right. It almost sounds like there's glass in there, doesn't it? I found my sunglasses. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with this. It's, it's going up and down. Uh, for me, uh, it just, more glass continued to fall down into the bottom. Gotta get the glass out of the track, all the way to the top, down the tracks. And then uh, down here in the one corner, there's a place where uh, just at the, the corner of the door, there's a hole and uh, you can actually vacuum glass out of that little hole there. That's sort of like where the door drains if the door gets water in, inside of it. Also, don't forget, um, if you're going to buy a window, uh, check out the links down in the description. Uh, I do receive a small commission from those links. Doesn't won't cost you anything extra, uh, but this, this window um, seems to be pretty good. So, uh, yeah, don't forget to um, check out those links. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to get, um, basically to put it back together, it's just going to be the reverse steps. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail there, uh, but, yeah. Just uh, in order to do a time lapse. Some of these clips didn't come out, so I've removed those from the door. A uh, little pry tool just to get them out and I'll put them back in. They snap back in and hold the door in place. And uh, they, they can come out of there. So I just rather have them all in place before we put this back on.
Okay, so um, you slide the top this sort of down in. If that piece of rubber came off, you might have to reattach it. Uh, mine didn't come off, so I think I'm good for the most part. And then we just have to make sure these holes are going to line up. Don't forget to hook your doorknob, your <laughs> your door handle, the lock, and the the power and the locking mechanism, when the power window cable, as well as the the door lock cable back up, and then we should just be able to push it back together. <clears throat> And the two screws that hold the uh, door handle back together. And there's this piece that clips in here. Should snap into place. I just heard a piece of glass fall from this piece here. All right, guys, I'm going to try to roll it up and down. All right. If there's more glass, you can always just pop this back off and I think we're good though. Now for uh let's... Doors are locking and unlocking. That all looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and close the door. All right, for the moment of truth. There it is. Hello, can't sleep here. <laughs> so this door always did make a creak, and even since I bought it, and I wondered if that had something to do with the fact that this window shattered, but. There we are, guys. All finished. What do you think, Jennifer? Looks good. <laughs> let's try it with the, uh, let's roll the window down and do another close test. I don't think I got it all the way. It's all the way down. All right, that's going to be it for this one. Don't forget, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Links are in the description. That's all I got for you. I guess we'll see you in the next one. Peace.